Hello, welcome to a quick demo of the Master 3D Gauge Arm, doing reverse inspection of our Master 3D Gauge part here. So I'm going to reverse engineer this, make the surface on the top, and put the holes in. I guess I made the hole size using a probe that's a little bit bigger. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to start by making a reference plane. You can see I have my arm display turned on here, so you can see the arm moving in real time. You'll see how that relates to things a little bit later. But I come down here and I'm going to measure a plane off of my surface plate. All right. Then I'm going to come in here and measure a line here and here. So here, on my screen, I have these, this plane and these two lines defined out in space. You'll see that right here. They don't really, al really align to this origin. So I'm going to make that happen. And to do that, I'm going to run my feature align. And when I'm telling it here, my primary plane in Z plus is my plane that I created. My secondary axis, X plus, is my line number one. And the origin will be at the intersection of line two, line one, and plane one. So I'm just going to hit OK. And there's my part will be aligned right with my origin right there at that corner. So I'm actually now going to turn off these features because I just don't want to look at them anymore. And I'm going to draw in four lines around the outside of my part. And you can see here my arm in real time. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to measure four lines. I'll start with the front. And there are my four lines defined. And I'll just show you that from the top. My four lines are defined right there. And now while I'm in this measure mode, I'm actually going to go to my spline feature. And I'm going to turn on continuous points here. I'll set my filter to take a point every 25 thousandths. And I'm going to measure the spline that goes along the front right here. spline there in the front defined and I'm going to hit done and now I'll do some CAD functions before I do any more measuring of my radii or my surface along the top. So I'm going to come here, fit our screen and I'm going to grab my lines and I'll let Verisurf automatically trim these for me. So it trims them all to match. Grab my spline also and I'm going to export directly to CAD. And now I've just made geometry in MasterCAM. Right there. And I'm going to come to my trim command and I'm just going to extend the end of that spline up past the ends. And I'll come in with my trimming commands and trim my geometry there. Yes, that's Mastercam geometry. That's independent of my Verisurf right now. Now, I can extrude this up, but I don't really know how far to extrude this yet. So what I'm actually going to do is measure another plane. So I'll go here to plane. And I'm going to put this on single point measure again, and I'm going to measure four points. And this is just a guesstimation. I just want to actually be taller than whatever I measure, because I'm going to trim to that later. So I'm going to pick here. Here, here, and there. And I'm going to hit done and close this out. And here's a little trick. I'm going to click on plane one and plane two. And it gives me an uh, average distance between them. So 947. I'll extrude that up an inch because, like I said, I want to be taller 
than that part. So I'm going to go to Solids Extrude, just a command right side of Mastercam, and we're going an inch. So I've extruded that out and I have the basic shape of the part. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to put in the surface along the top. And a quick way to do that is I'm going to come here to my point command, continuous, and my filter is still set to a pretty tight tolerance here. So I'm going to leave that on. And the more points you get, the more accurate you'll be. I'm just doing a quick demo here, so I'm just going to come down and just trace along, trace along the outside of my part. basic thing. I'm going to come into these little corners here and just add some extra points in. Again, the more time I would spend doing this, the better reverse engineering of, this, of the surface I'd have, which is just a quick, doing a quick feed over here. So I'm just going to hit done. And I'm going to merge all these into one point cloud. and I'll go to my reverse here. And this is the reverse module that's an add-on to the Verisurf product. And I'm just gonna come here, fit and make a surface patch from these points. It's gonna process all those points. I'll hit okay. a surface patch here. I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to go to solids, trim, and I'm going to trim to a surface. Flip my side here and then screen, blank entity, and there's my solid reverse engineered. Now I'm going to throw the points in. These, the uh, holes in rather, just be a guesstimation of those points here. So I'm going to come here and I'll do one point holes just by putting the probe right there. And I'll export those to CAD. And we'll extrude. Those holes. Now, Another neat little feature I can do here is I want to get the radiuses here on the corners, and they're all the same. So I'm actually going to do a quick measure of the three-point arc, and I'm going to project here to my first plane that I made. And I'm just going to come in and measure on the corner here. And I'll even do a 3D arc right on this radius on the edge. So I'm going to finish. I click on this arc. It tells me that its radius, if I expand this open a little bit, is 193. And I get 50 thou radius there. So I'm going to come in here and do solids, fill it, fill it. One, 
two, three, four. I forgot that size already. Just double check that in a second here. One ninety four. So I'll just go down to my solids and change that. Check the other one. Eh, it doesn't seem right, right to me. Just by looking at, at the model here. So I'm going to come in and we'll try that again. Solids, fill it, fill it, and grab that edge on the front. 118, and there's my completed part. Now, I can actually use this part to inspect on the other part to get instant verification. That's your basic reverse engineering. And actually, you get a real good visual cue here where I didn't pick any points. Now it does follow that point cloud. So, if I picked points in there, again, I would have had a better model. You wouldn't have had that ripple in there. So, that concludes our quick video on reverse engineering. I'm Dave Matuzic from MacDeck Engineering, and feel free to call us with uh, any questions. Thank you, and have a great day.